They're talking about October 7th today. I don't think only of October 7th, I think of seven generations. I have it over there, you want me to put it? And Travis mentioned this concrete island that we live on. And it makes me think of this beautiful river valley that we have and the water that flows through it. And how when I was a child, I could go to that water and I could fish. But now we can't eat the fish out of that water, not safely. And that's happening to our waterways all around the world. The Pacific Ocean is being irradiated by nuclear waste. The Gulf of Mexico is contaminated with unimaginable amounts of petrochemicals, raw crude oil. The life there is twisted and deformed. Our ability to live on this earth isn't something that is being compromised sometime in the future. It's happening right now, today. We are mostly water. This planet is a miracle. And instead of respecting the water, instead of respecting ourselves, we pollute it. We act like it's nothing, like that it's worse than nothing. We don't honor our water, and so we can't honor ourselves, and so we can't honor the life that grows in a woman's womb for nine months in a personal ocean of water. And what will we do when our water is so poisoned that our children will grow up always fearing cancers, always fearing sicknesses. These are the things, these are the thoughts that come to my mind. And so when people are just walking away, when they walk by and they're going about their life, that's fine. But be grateful for your life and be grateful for right now because what you enjoy today, what you enjoy tomorrow and next year, our children will not be able to enjoy. That's already a truth. And so the question we have today isn't like, oh, let's stop everything and make it all fantastic. Let's stop everything and start the healing process because there is a lot of healing in our future that needs to take place. The damage has already been done. Now we have to stop continuing that process and we have to start healing. So everyone who is here today, your job is to be a good ancestor. Your job is to be an amazing ancestor because we will not inherit the future. We will not be here. We will be dead and we will be long gone. It's our children and their children and their children after them who will inherit the actions that we take today and now in our lives from this moment forward. So as you walk your paths, as you walk your your trails and as you go from day to day think about your choices think about your responsibility open your heart to love not just to your own children but to your neighbors children and for those who are not yet born that's who we are that's who we're supposed to be we're not supposed to be thinking about financial returns every quarter we live in a three-month world we need to live in a seven generation reality.